functions is one of the best features in peak because while we are doing the analysis we may need lot of functions like sum count average in fact lot of other summary functions numerical functions string functions writing a map reduce code for each and every one of them again and again is a really tiring task what pig does is it has created some generic functions or user friendly functions that we can just use automatically pig understands our requirements and converts them to map reduce so let's try to learn some functions we already saw count function for every function first we need to start it by group by so first we need to do the group by and then we have to apply the function for each row so let us do that uh, first we'll start with this particular example that we already saw retail customer data in that customer data we want to group it by country for each country what we want to do is we want to find out the number of customers so the way we do it is this is the new relation name counts country for each group country so that is what it has been created generate group name that is country name and the count so that is the count function simply we can dump the counts country relation which is which is going to give us the country name and the number of rows associated with that country that is number of customers country name rsa country country name usa the number of the count of that rows that is the count function we can also we also have sum function how does that work first again we need to do it group by country first thing that we should do before using the function is group by group by retail customer uh, this is the relation that we want to group by country we have already executed this operation anyway we can do that again not an issue sum by country let's try to understand this particular code sum country that is the new relation name that we are creating for each group country that means for each row in this group that means for each so this is a bag right relation so it will have the country name and all the rows associated with it so for each row or for each value in this group by country generate group that is country name sum of retail customer unit price basically we need to sum up the unit price uh, if for this each of the country so country name sum of unit price is what we are looking for if we write country name sum of unit price we will get country name in the end country name sum of unit price country name sum of unit price so this is sum country earlier we had dumped count country we can see that as well so counts rsa 258 whereas sum was somewhere around 216 or something right so this is sum these are sums those are the counts so these are the two functions that we can use uh, that are already inbuilt inside peak in fact not only that we can also find the average unit price by each country so first as usual first group by country and then once we have the country values once you have the country values for each group country so for each country in that group country relation generate group that is nothing but the country name average of the unit price from this file so that is how average country is created then we are going to simply dump that so whatever is the result we want to dump basically we will see country name and the average unit price country name average unit price country name and the average now how do we find the average of the overall data set let's say i am not i don't want by each country i want just the average 
of the unit price for this whole data set but the problem is all these functions work on group by only first you have to do group by then only you can use for each then you can write the code or you can use the function but if we don't have group by then we can't use this function for that there is a way we can do group by all try to understand this one so you have retail customer underscore pig earlier we were doing group by country so for each country we are getting the output here we can do group by all it will just keep group everything into one bag so it will not do anything it will keep the data as it is keep everything in one group so there is simply one group now we can write average for each group all that means for each element in this one which is all the observations generate average so for this particular whole data set whole data set will be taken as one tuple or one kind of bag within this relation for that one bag what is the average of unit price so for this one bag uh, what is the average unit price okay which is nothing but the overall data set average unit price so we will get one average value instead of for each country since we have grouped it by all we will just have overall one value that is the average value that is 3.80 that is the average unit price similarly we can find sum of unit price for overall data set sum for overall data so group all so group by all what exactly this group by all doing it is doing nothing it is just taking this data set or the relation and kind of transforming it in a way we can get the results basically it is creating a group using it is creating a single group using all the observations then we can do all sum this is the all sum then we can do all count we can do all count so dump all sum so this is the overall sum we can even dump overall count so basically this is just to show you that we can even do group uh, we can even find the sum and average or the count on the overall data set as well even if we can't we, if we can't do group by we can we have a roundabout way we can actually group by all then we can find the sum and counts individually so that is how we can use the inbuilt functions that are available in pig these are the numerical functions now we are going to see some string functions